Hi, I'm Keelan with Keelan's Dog Boarding, and today I'm going to go over some tips and tricks while I make the customizable paw prints from Pet Shop. Um, they're ornaments that I actually bought at Walgreens, so you can pick them up. I think they're around like four or five dollars. Um, I picked up three for my first three Christmas bookings that booked with me. Um, that way they could have like a nice cute little gift from me. Um, the reason I'm going over these tips, so when I first did this, it was a mess. So I'll show you right now Ike's because Ike was the first one I did. So there's Ike's. Very cute. It's currently drying. They take about 24 hours to dry. Um, but when I first did it, you want to see this mess? This is what the clay comes in. And they want you to use all of it, but I, I, I was scraping in there. Um, I also had to cut my nails. Long nails did not work for this project at all. Um, it was a mess to get the clay out of my nails. So I wanted to go ahead and sit down and give you guys some tips of what I did to try to do the name, make it easier, um, make the ornament more round because it doesn't, when you first put in the little stencil to cut it, it does not come out round. Um, some tools that I've been using toothpicks so just a nice little box of, of toothpicks um, it comes with a rolling pin in the bag it also comes with this little straw that you get wet that you use to make the little hole for the ornament um, I have a pair of scissors just in case for opening the clay um, I'm using some Reynolds wrap foil wrap um, on my cutting board because they want you to put it on a flat surface that's non-stick and my cutting board is definitely non-stick since it's wood. Um, so I just kind of wrap it around the edges here. And that way it also gives it a surface to dry on while I'm waiting for it to dry. Um, so the first thing that I went ahead and did was I immediately opened the clay because that's part of the first instructions. Um, as you can see, there is a small, this one's extremely small, there's this teeny tiny little tab that you're supposed to tear at, but there's all this clay right here. So if you tore it, you would just tore, tear right through the clay. Um, so what I'm doing is pushing this down so that the clay is actually out of the way of that little tab. I don't know if this one's going to tear, so that might be where my scissors come in, being very handy. So let's see. Oh, so far so good. And that tore really, really nicely. Now because I know that this was a, ne a, a big mess before, um, I am prepared for having to, ooh, actually, look how clean that's coming out. I don't know if it's too shiny to see, but it's actually coming out really nicely. Maybe I just got unlucky with that first package. I'm going to open up the sides though with my scissors so that I can try to slide it out better. I recommend don't forget to wash your scissors if you do use scissors because yes, I am getting some clay on this and you don't want your scissors to dry with clay. Now this is air dry clay, so this isn't the kind that you have to put in an oven and bake um, at all. So this is very easy, fun little craft. Oh, and that came out just so nice. See, it's all on one side. Hopefully it comes off nice on this wall, and it is. So my first batch I just maybe got really unlucky with, and it just did not want to come out. Um, there's all these little air pockets, and they want you to mush the air pockets out. Um, you are going to have some excess clay. Um, I'm saving excess clay for my daughter. Um, she'll probably make some sort of a snowman for Christmas, and we'll get to have that around for the holidays. Um, I'm always about saving and reusing things, so in a moment she'll come over and she'll do that project, and it'll be a lot of fun for her. So just got to get it to mix up nicely. Um, then they want you to make this 5-inch circle with it. Um, but one of the biggest parts about this little circle is that you want it to be bigger than that because the 5 inches is probably about what the, the little stencil that they give you cuts with. So they give you this little plastic thing here with double-sided tape so you can, you know, shape it out into the size circle you want. 
probably because if you have a really small animal that you do a paw print for, you don't need all that excess space around the edges. Um, it also says on the box that you can get glitter or beads um, or other little things that you can put into the clay around the paw print to decorate. Um, I'm not certain if, if glitter would really stick to this. Maybe it does. I haven't actually tried glitter on any of them yet, but I always feel like glitter is that really messy stuff that you only mess with if you're sure that you're going to be able to handle it in that particular project. And I think something simple like this, the owners would be able to use it year round um, and hang it up even. So, okay, so I made a pretty, and you want to make sure that it's still really thick so that when you put in the paw print, there's actually room for an actual print. Um, I'm going to. Hopefully the image is able to still be seen as I readjust my camera. And then you just kind of want to smooth out the surface. You know, get out any little bumps or imperfections that you can find. Smooth it over, smooth it out. Um, when I do this part, I do leave a little bit of room already for me to be rolling it so that that way I know that it's still going to be a thick imprint, um, but I also know I have room to actually smooth imperfections without affecting my imprint. Um, this one is going to be for Lily. Lily is one of my guests that's going to be here for... Uh, she was here so far for al almost over a week, and she'll be here for a few more days. And that's kind of perfect because this will take 24 hours to dry. Um, Ike leaves later today, but he'll be traveling back to California. So I actually have time for that one to dry um, on top of travel time. So he'll be traveling out to California with his parents and his parents will be able to take this nice little gift and I'll keep it wrapped in foil for them. Um, I'm going to head out to Lily and I'm going to get her paw print and then I'm going to come back and we're going to continue. Hey, Lily bear. So pretty. Good girl. All right. So here is Lily's paw print. I've got it facing you guys for right now so that way you guys can see. Um, she stepped kind of in the middle. So that's good. I have a pretty good size. Now I also have a lot of excess on this side. So what I did with Ike's because Ike kind of stepped off to the side as well with his, is I left this part here to be a part of my circle because I just wrote his name vertically instead of horizontally. Um, I could always redo this, make it nicer so that Lily's name could be on the bottom, but in all reality, this is this is where she stepped and, and I don't see anything wrong with, with her footstep. using dog toys to distract dogs. All right, so like I said, this thing is not gonna end up being a perfect, beautiful little circle when you first do it. Because for some reason the mold, it wants to bend into more of an oval shape to begin with. And that's okay. All right. So this is where my toothpick comes in as being extremely useful. And watch, it just peels right back. 
The first time I tried doing this just with my fingers, um, well, first of all, I had nails, so at the time it was very difficult to pull it back and away. It did not want to cooperate with me. It wanted to get stuck in my fingers, stuck to the plastic. Um, and then finally I, I caved in and, and I grabbed a toothpick for the rest of it and it came up so much quicker, so much nicer. Um, and it ended up being really, really great and easy to use um, with the toothpick. So see, look at that, just all nice and cleaned up. That way when you when you pull apart the mold, you've got all that excess taken off. Um, and I'm going to put the excess in that little bag. That way my daughter can use it later for a project. Alright, so the next biggest part that I'm going to do is I... See that? I hope so. Um, I like to try to, you know, move it around just a little bit, enough to make it so that you can make it a little bit more round. So here's, it's a lot more circular, um, a lot less strangely oval shaped. Um, I'm gonna get my straw, oop, a little wet. It's still wet, so that's good. And we're gonna put the hole right there. Twist it around a few times and then pull it out. And I'm continuously finding that the straw pulls out just the right amount of clay, but it does sometimes leave a little excess down there, so I grabbed out that. Um, and then I'm going to drip off some of this water that fell on my foil. Okay, so after that, you can grab a fresh toothpick. Do not use one that you've already used for clay. The reason being is because the clay from where you're trying to write the name and the clay from where you pulled up excess is actually going to end up sticking to the toothpick and making it really hard to press in the name. So I'm going to do Lily. And I've been using all caps. I just think it's a lot cuter to do it in caps. Um, if you follow me on Facebook or on Instagram, I will be posting up-close photos of all the ones I've made. And like I said, I'm making three. Um, Sydney, which you guys should all know who Sydney is. I watch her quite often. She'll be getting one. Ike has one, of course. And Lily's getting one. So, Merry Christmas. Um, happy holidays and thank you so much again for watching Keelan's dog boarding um, and following us both on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook um, it's almost January I will be posting some awesome deals um, at each month for the new year um, next month's deal is gonna be really awesome it's gonna be a lot of fun um, and it'll benefit both you and your pets so thanks again for watching and have a great holiday